Hello curious people. In this uh, video, we are going to learn how to make presentations dead simple uh, in HTML using reveal.js. So very easy way to create presentations. All you have to do is in, include reveal.js and uh, relate assets in your HTML file. And then your entire uh, presentation consists of HTML. So this is very useful for developers and development related presentations, which is what I am, I guess. So uh, I have, I basically found a template out there, but I customized it uh, credit to this URL. Any case, I customized it and I added a few things like I added uh, syntax highlighting, which was not there by default. It was not highlighting properly. And I added a completely black background color. And most importantly, I added a multi-column layout. So let's take a look. You don't have to actually learn reveal.js. You can simply use this template.html that I have, and I will include a link to it in my show notes. So the first thing is reveal.js um, comes with a few themes. There was a theme called black.css, but it was not black enough. It was uh, dark gray, but not exactly black. So I changed that by adding just a simple CSS style in there, uh, background color black. Then, um, so you have white text on black background. I like blue highlighted uh, links. And when you press uh, spacebar or right arrow, you saw that there is zoom transition. So that comes with reveal.js. And now I have, I'm on second slide. It has a heading to uh, a paragraph here. As you can see, heading to and paragraphs are, are kind of large uh, and they automatically center your text in the center of the, uh, of the slide. And you can control that if you don't want that. You can, there are options which are at the bottom here. I said center equal to true, but you can change that. So, and here's the code syntax highlighting. On the left, there is Java syntax highlighting. On the right, there is a JavaScript syntax highlighting. And not just that, you can get line numbers and specific line numbers from seven to 14 in this case are highlighted. So the way you accomplish that is very simple. You simply add a pre-formatted block pre and then code block. And in there you add class hljs and then the language java by default it shows uses javascript or java, language javascript or something you whatever you want uh, language you're using and then your code and in the second column by the way here's me using two column layout container is the wrapper and inside there is the call um, wrapper and that's it that gives you equal width columns uh, laid out horizontally from left to right very easy now, in the second code sample, which is this one on the right, I added line numbers simply by adding an attribute called data line numbers. And then I also highlighted specific, if you give it a value, then like seven to 14 in this case. So line number seven to 14 are hi highlighted, as you can see from return to end of return. And then everything else is de-emphasized a bit. So that's where that makes it very easy. Not only that, you can you can have transitions for each of your bullet points or paragraphs so here this is the this is a paragraph or re revealing itself uh, here's the next one grow shrink and then this is fade out so when you put focus on that it fades out this is fading up fading down fading left fading right and then this one Fade it in as I put focus on it. And then when I move to the next highlight, it will fade away. See, it left. This one uh, fades in. And then when you move on to the next one, it kind of gets de-emphasized. So this is good for keeping previous content in place and not removing it, but then de-emphasizing it. And now this is color highlighting in blue, red, green, and blue again. Uh, so that's that's uh, what I am using, and uh, you can use this template. I will put it, uh, put a link to it in my video description. So please check it out.
and start making fantastic presentations using HTML. All right then, if you liked, uh, if the if you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel, and um, you know stay curious.